Hi guys, Charlie Tango One coming at you again. Uh, just a continuation really of the video I've just put up in relation to um, this uh, stove I bought a couple, two or three days ago, Optimus 111. Now, um, I failed to mention on there, I've mentioned virtually everything else, um, that anything, anything that I put up <coughs> or state on it's purely my opinion and my opinion only um, you can draw your own conclusions to what uh, what uh, your beliefs are or opinions um, hey after all we're all entitled to our own opinion aren't we um, right having said that um, it was just a reflection on these caps now I know I've got two stoves here um, this is Optimus ATAR um, and this is the Russian or Bulgarian or Ukraine uh, one. They've always got a silver tank. Um, I've not seen one with a, a brass tank yet. Anyway, the brass tank, I'm going to have to bring this close in. Most of them have these little pips on. Can you see that? I hope it's clear. And um, you need a special tool to take them off. People think that this this nut people think that this nut is what takes that off. It isn't. This actually is a fixed it's a a fixed nut. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't you know unscrew etc. It's the very top piece that unscrews out of the nut. I actually did see someone tightening this cap up onto the tank with a spanner on that nut. Well, it doesn't need to be that tight. It's only an air, you know, to make a seal, an airtight seal, which which doesn't take much effort. And if it still doesn't do it, that means you need to replace this uh, rubber washer in here. Anyway, having said that, these are the ones that um, the Russian stoves use a lot. And what I like about them, uh, th these, is that um, apart from messing around trying to get hold of the tool, which I, I could do, I know someone that does them, but um, I'm going to get one made over here. Um, and um, what, what it is, is this, this little bit here screws into the cap. Now, that's the, for, that's the uh, formation that it, it goes in. You put the divot in here. What's in here is um, these little um, Volodon, Volodon seals, and um, I make them out of three mil. These this Volodon that's that's four mil, and this is three mil. Well, it's the three mil really. It's the is the one to use. Now I got a bit of strep throat this morning. Uh, I just punch one out because I just um, I ordered a punch and I got it and I've um, I come across it by chance. It's a a five point five. Um, five. If you use a five, it's too slack and it fall out fall out when you try to put it in the cap. The six mil, well, you're squeezing like crazy to get that in there. So I've now found the five point five. So. You just plonk that in there. I don't know if you can. Before I do that, um, I don't know if you can see in it through through that little hole. Let's let's see if you can. Uh, there, you see that hole in the centre. Well, obviously, from the other side, it's but it's raised. So you could say. Uh, where that's gone now? Oh, here it is. The easiest way to explain it is a uh, top of that hole looks ex uh, looks exactly like. Where are we? Get right. That's it. Looks exactly like the top of that barrow. That little tip there. That's how it looks, and the, dip, uh, the little divot goes goes on top of that. 
so it's not a flat hole that that, that bit of iodine sits on. Now, the other thing worth bearing in mind, future, I personally prefer the, I think they're a lot better, quicker, easier to change, <coughs> but you've got to remember this thread uh, on the uh, Bulgarian and Russian ones, now that one's just, that's just proved me a liar. Because when I tried it on other threads, uh, on other stoves, <coughs> that thread did not fit. But for some reason they did. Now I haven't tried that. I only just tried it now and it's just proved me a liar. But when I tried them before, I thought I had one up there. Um, it's, a, it's a finer thread than what the Optimus ones are. You know, that looks quite a coarse thread compared to this thin one. But obviously not. Well, there we go. So, um, worth bearing in mind. If if that is the case, and you can get hold of these, um, I did, was talking to a chap on eBay, and he said, oh, I'll put a couple up. He said, well, don't bother, I'll just throw them back on the shelf, blah, 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 blah. But when I looked at him, he said, well, offer me a fair price. Um, basically, he wanted, he wanted to sell them and, 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 and make quite a bit of money, I think. Well, I offered him a tenner a cap. Now, £10, I think, is quite um, being quite generous to offer £10 for that. When he put it up, he came up with a different figure. He came up with something like about £15 plus postage, etc. I thought, well, that's not viable for me because um, I didn't know if I could um, use them on the uh, Optimus. Anyway, having said that, um, the next thing to remember is the little tiny spring that goes in there. I'll have to hold it still for a minute so to make sure the camera's got it. Now, I've measured these and it appears the, me the magic measurement is half an inch which is longer than that little piece of metal. It's longer than that piece of metal. So, that's gone on there. It's all, um, it's all future stuff. It's not a very strong spring. Obviously it doesn't have to be. If it's a little bit on the short side, <coughs> my personal opinion, again, is um, just uh, give it a little stretch, only a little bit, and then measure it. If it comes up to half an inch, that's good enough, because you want enough pressure on that spring uh, to hold that divot on uh, over that hole. If it's too weak, as soon as you uh, get pressure in the tank when it's running, when the stove is running, it's going to just uh, vent off on this uh, cap. Well, that's defeating the whole object, isn't it? So. There we go. And the beauty of these is they just screw in. You, you don't have to do them tight. I've got a, um, where have I got it? A, screw, a screwdriver down here. And I just do it, I just nip it up. I don't, I don't tie, I tie it as such. Just nip it up, you feel it, it once it's, it's there. And nine out of 10, you find that the, the uh, screwdriver slot, the end of that little pin will come up level with that slot, and you know you're somewhere near right. You know, you look at that. If you see it's gone down further, you think, oh, that little um, that little divot is obviously worn. And sometimes what happens is they get stuck to that little hole inside. Um, so when push comes to shove, it won't release. Now, one last thing. I've got a, I mentioned this on, on, on the other video. These little dobbers. You know what these are? These little dobbers, you know, for putting dye on whatever. Well, when you finish with it, just uh, cut the end off. Cut the dobber off. Now, 
I uh, rubbed this, uh, spun this down a little bit because this particular one, if you look at the hole on that one, I hope you've got that. In comparison to that one, this one is a lot bigger, the hole. This one's smaller, so I've had to taper this down a bit so it'll go in that hole. And if I just push it, and I can feel that that's it, it's releasing that valve. Same as that, I don't know if you'll see that, you do that, let's have a look. Yeah, let's do it again. I'll get my finger there so you can, so you can see that it's moved. There it is. Okay, you can feel the spring. <coughs> and that's, that's just a quick way of testing to make sure that 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 will um, release excess pressure if need be. So right now that's done. I'll put that in there and I'll put that back now on. I could get a... Do you know what? I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, <coughs> I'm going to get another stove Um, to see, bear with me, to see if I get another cap to actually fit that, because as I say, that, that's, that's just made me look a liar when that went on there, because all the other ones are just, <coughs> they will not go. Here's another one, let's try this cap. This is a stove I've just done up, but I painted it grey. Um, amorite grey. Um, that's a good paint because once you've cleaned it up you can, I mean that's amorite paint that one. Once you've cleaned it up you can spray it, it cover rust and everything. Now that's done the same, that's gone straight on there. Well I go to the foot of my stairs. So that's worth bearing in mind if you want to get any of these cups, these, these caps at least you know it'll fit. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> without further ado, I'm out of camera shot at the moment, I know. I'm still going to get another one. We'll try this one. <coughs> See that, that's slightly different that cap. That that cap there that comes flush with with the top and it's only got two flat sides on it as opposed to this one. That's like a proper nut and it's got this little bit sticking up. Where's that one? Ain't? Where are we? There. So there you go. I'll keep that one over there. That one on there. Let's take this one off and see if I can. It does fit, but um, I can't. Can't work out why. Get another one. Let's find out. Here's one now, see that's that's got a silver tank. Which tells me that it's a foreign one. 
Let's see if this brass one goes on there. Yeah, that goes on there. So, there we go. That's um, proved that theory. Let's see if it goes on there as well. Yep. Yeah. Right. Forget what I said in the first place, that um, these brass ones are just a different thread. They're a coarse thread, and these are a finer thread. But, on reflection, they're not. Now... It's just proved it, you've seen it there, and you see how flush, let's get that out of the way, can you see how flush that, that is with that um, cap, comes out fairly flush doesn't it, and that, that way you know that they're okay, when they're like that, um, in my opinion, they, um, they seem to be um, in the right place. Now I, I um, <coughs> that's what I do and I test them and uh, I'm quite happy with that being there. They do, um, if you push that thing in there, they do come off. So let me just put this back. I've got some stickers coming to make sure I've got the right ones on there because I've got them around the wrong way when it comes to um, The 111 and the 111B. So I now need to get. I'm waiting for them to turn up, which I think might be today. And I might get back onto this bloke and see if I can. Um, uh, knock him down a bit. <coughs> I mean, that's a little bit expensive. I personally think, I don't know about you, but I think £15 for one of them caps. <coughs> is a lot of money. <coughs> so I offered him £20 and that should cover his shipping as well which is only about £6. So but you've got to be careful when you get this stuff from um, uh, Bulgaria and Russia and, and Ukraine and R Romania because when you see it there they, they do the equivalent in from dollars into sterling but always look where are we? Yeah, all right, okay always look at the um postage because you say for I say the stove was here for 80 quid um and then you look underneath it that's when you go onto the page that this refers to it's on eBay um 80 pounds uh, the, the equivalent, you know, from dollars, um, and then underneath the postage, uh, £34. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you've got to be careful you don't get caught out on that one. So there we go. Without further ado, I'm going to leave it at that. I think I've, <coughs> excuse me, I think I've covered it now. But uh, that's, that's on those little um, divots. If you want any, um, I should put my um, phone number or something in there if you need some. Now I know I've got the right punch. Um, the whole uh, it'll be the, this will be the same size as the ones that's got the um, brass thing on. It's just that you need the tool to get that brass piece off, and it's not just a straightforward Allen key. It's um, I've tried all the different keys and I've got some Allen keys, but they're not a true fit in the flatness on the. Um, in the hole, you know, it's slightly just out of line. Something. And if you turn it, you're gonna, you're gonna round that hole off. Well, that's defeating the whole object because you won't get it out. Then you, you've mullered it, so to speak. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks very much for coming back for us. Um, rabbiting on again, and I, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio.